The tube launched optically tracked wireless guided missiles, also called the TOW missile, is the world's greatest long range heavy assault precision anti armor, anti bunker, anti fortification, and anti amphibious landing weapon system. It is also the most widely used anti tank guided missile. The TOW missile provides ground troops with an advantage over the opposing armored and wheeled vehicles, regardless of the terrain or conditions. It is critical and has complementing capability in layered ground force defense delivering dependable and precise anti-armor attack in highly disputed areas. The TOW missile systems have been in service since 1970, with over 700,000 units supplied by the Raytheon Missiles and Defense to the U.S. and Allied Armed Forces to date. TOW 2A or BGM-71E missiles which commenced manufacturing in 1987, have delivered more than 118,000 units. TOW-2B, or BGM-71F, missiles commenced production in 1991, with over 40,000 delivered, and are intended to supplement rather than replace TOW-2A, TOW-2B Arrow, and TOW-2A Bunker Buster missiles, or BGM-71H. All tow weapon system launchers, including the ITAS TM launcher, striker anti tank guided missile vehicle, or modified ITAS launcher, and Bradley fighting vehicles, may fire the TOW 2A, TOW 2B, and TOW bunker buster missiles. Raytheon Missiles and Defense is continuing to improve the TOW missile in order to answer the U.S. Army's need for an anti tank long-range guided missile. Therefore, the corporation is working to improve the TOW missile's propulsion system, which will increase its range and speed. It is prepared to address future anti-tank guided missile requirement and to give a combat-proven capability to the Army's optionally manned fighting vehicle development program, while remaining compatible with existing launch platforms. Specifically, due to its extended range capabilities, the TOW missile is used as the assault weapon system on the U.S. Army Striker, Bradley Fighting Vehicle, Improved Target Acquisition System, or ITAS High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle, and Light Armored Vehicle Anti-Tank Platforms. The TOW missile is also the favored heavy assault and anti-armor weapon system for NATO Coalition. UN, and peacekeeping missions across the world. So how does the TOW missile work? Besides the main assembly, there is a separate fire control system or FCS module that does all guiding calculations for the TOW missile, as well as a battery pack to power the system. The TOW missile is powered by two-stage Alliant Tech Systems, or ATK, solid propellant rocket engine, while the Chandler Evans CACS-2 control system utilizes differential piston actuators. Guidance signals from the guidance computer are transferred over two wires that spool from the back of the missile to the missile's control system. The TOW missile has a Command to Line of Sight Guidance, or CLOS, to ensure the hit. The CLOS system solely needs the angular coordinates between the missile and the target. Since the TOW missile is designed to be in the line of sight between the launcher and the target, and any deviation from this line is adjusted. The TOW missile operator views a spot on the target using the telescopic sight before firing the missile. Through this sight, the operator continues to watch and follow the target. When the target is sighted and the trigger is pulled, there is a 1.5 second firing delay as the tow missile spins up its internal gyroscope and the thermal battery achieves working temperature. After this, the launch motor fires via the rear nozzle, driving the missile out of the tube. This soft launch motor operates for only 0.05 seconds and burns out before the missile exits the tube. As the missile departs the launch tube, the first four wings slightly forward of the flight motor spring open, followed by four tail control surfaces that flip open rearwards as the missile exits the launch tube fully. 
The flight motor ignites when the wings fully extend at about 23 feet from the launcher, increasing the missile's speed to around 600 miles per hour through its burn period. At 0.18 seconds after launch, the warhead is enhanced by G-forces from the flight motor's acceleration, a safety mechanism designed to protect the operator in case of the failure of the flight motor to ignite. The missile glides for the rest of its flight duration after the flight motor burns out 1.6 seconds after launch. The missile is outfitted with a high-intensity thermal beacon that serves as a long-wave infrared tracking source, as well as a xenon beacon that serves as a short-wave tracking source. This dual tracking device is resistant to electro-optical and infrared countermeasures. Once the tracker notices the missile, IR sensors bore sighted to the daylight tracker keeps to monitoring the position of an IR beacon on the missile's tail relative to the line of sight, with the FCS generating course correction sent to the missile's integral flight control unit via the command link. The missile then uses its control surface actuators to adjust its flight course. If the missile fails to hit a target, the command wires are automatically terminated at 3,000 meters on the original tow and 3,750 meters on most current production tows. If the tracker fails to identify the missile's thermal beacon within 1.85 seconds after launch, the line is severed automatically. In terms of launch platforms, The tow missile can be deployed from the ground using a tripod-mounted launch tube, or they can be placed on vehicles. On military vehicles, the system can be installed as a single-tube pedestal mount or as two- or four-tube Under Armour systems. On vehicles such as the Enhanced Tow Vehicle M901, Desert Warrior, Piranha, the U.S. Marine Corps LAV, Dardo Hit Fist, and Bradley M2 M3. In its basic infantry configuration, the tow can also play a role on a mandatory daylight tracker unit, which can be supplemented with an optional AN TAS 4 or AN TAS 4A gas cooled night sight, or an all in one tracker unit on the M41 ITAS version. Over 40 worldwide military forces have deployed the tow weapon systems, which are integrated on more than 15,000 ground vehicle and helicopter platforms. The tow installed on helicopters is called the Airborne Tow, which is used by at least 13 nations with more than 2,100 units supplied. Some helicopters equipped with the tow missile include the Augusta Westland Lynx, Augusta Westland A129, Bell Textron 206L, UH-1 Huey, Hughes 500MD helicopter, Eurocopter Bo-105, and Bell Textron AH-1 Cobra attack helicopter. The U.S. Army qualification tests have confirmed upgrades and enhancements to the tow system's top-down assault capabilities, its operational efficacy, as well as personal safety and survivability. The system upgrade programs are also intended to prolong the missile's life cycle until 2050. As a part of the update programs, the Raytheon launched the Tow Eagle Fire Launcher in October 2015 for shooting wire-guided and wireless radio frequency missiles. The Tow Eagle Fire Launcher, with improved target acquisitions and engagement, is fueled by lithium-ion allowing for nine hours of silent watch. Ergonomic hand grips, integrated day and night vision with ranged finding feature and built-in test capabilities are among the other structural and technical enhancements. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.